Hey guys, today I'm going to read you possibly the most interesting tweet from GP Toronto. I'm going to read it verbatim and then I'm going to address two arguments or issues or discussion points about this tweet. Dead for day two at GP Toronto had an awkward interaction with an opponent wearing a shirt depicting a topless woman. Time to shake it off for the PTQ tomorrow. So obviously dead for day two is not very interesting, but the awkward interaction and the opponent wearing a shirt depicting a topless woman. So dead for day two means it's a later round in day one. And it seems like this guy has been playing magic the whole time. Now, is this real? Is this kind of exaggerated? I don't know. I wasn't at GP Houston, but I would have. I would find it amazing that someone who's wearing a shirt depicting a topless woman is not easy to identify. And that would be something that a lot of people would probably remember, including most of his opponents. So... Number one, uh, and going back to the Reddit post about uh, the uh, the guy calling the female magic player, are you a lucky charm or something like that? You need to address the issue directly and heads on. Um, social media is probably not the best way to do it unless you have a picture, a name, and a store name. So if you include the store name, the store will feel a little bit embarrassed and maybe take action in the future to, I don't want to say protect because that would be offensive, but to better aid its female participants in magic. I think that's sensitive, right? Enough. I think I phrased that correctly. And when you don't call the store name, you don't call the person out, then they will continue to do it because maybe they don't think anything is wrong when they said it and you didn't directly say, hey, this is wrong, apologize, or hey, I didn't appreciate when you said that, maybe the person never understands that it's wrong and they just kind of continue on and on and on and there's no feedback to the person. So I compare this to a lot of what is on social media about magic players being like very offensive, like an opponent wearing a shirt depicting a topless woman. I would say males would find that offensive. Some males may find that offensive too. Uh, children definitely shouldn't be wear, uh, looking at something like that. And you never know, you know, at GPs, who's going to be matched up. Uh, the Dana, Dana Fisher is six years old and six or seven, and she could be matched up to this guy with a shirt depicting a topless woman, but apparently no one stopped him and no one told him that this is not acceptable. Uh, he just kind of continued on. Now, here's my biggest critique on these kind of social media stuff that get very popular. So this post will get very popular. Reddit posts, any posts where it starts with edit, I am a female magic player, and then goes with, you know, uh, how much they love magic and how much they've been playing magic and they felt, you know, they love the community and then this uh, deuce bag said something and made them not like the community as much, but they're still going to struggle and be a beacon of hope for the magic female, uh, magics in, females and magic is the terminology that I believe is being used right now. I went to NYU and I went to William & Mary Law School and let me tell you, those females are alpha aggressive. You do anything bad, they will call you out on it uh, immediately. It's not like they're going to go on social media and put vague blasts. Here's the solution. It's very simple. So when, if you order a card and store X, which we'll talk about later, and a lot of cancellations for JC Mind Sculptor, as you might have imagined, especially 401s. Store X sells you the card and they don't deliver it and they say, oh, something went wrong, here's a refund. Well, we all know what happened. The card spiked in price, the $300 card, foiled JC Mind Sculptor from the original set is now 800. Let's assume those numbers are not exact, but let's assume that's what happened. You call Store X by name and then they won't do it again, unless they're troll and toad. So you call them out by name, and you get them. So if, you, if you're if you at a store, 
and someone says something offensive to you, what you need to do is you need to call that store out by name, and maybe the store owner will take more eject. They will create a better atmosphere, and you need to call out that person. That's what the whole judge thing was, right? We were calling out judges by people, uh, by names, like David Park from Chino Hills, who had relationships with his freshmen uh, and high school freshmen. That is not acceptable. We need to figure out and use a real life example with names, locations. Maybe you don't want to drag the store into it. But you can have a discussion with the store, and you can say, "Okay, I discussed with the store. The store is located in this general region, and they promise to be better." Here, I just find it absurd and kind of ridiculous that if a guy really was wearing a topless a T-shirt with a topless woman, he's just been playing magic this whole day, and no one told him, "Like, hey, dude, there are children here. You should not wear this." Um, I, it's just very astounding to me that like people complain about stuff later that can be addressed immediately. So, if this is actually true and it's going on, and hopefully there are pictures. I mean, I feel like if true, there would be pictures, lots of them, because it would be hard not to take a picture of a guy like this. Um, and we'll see. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe there are pictures. I just think the whole objective of okay, I'm gonna keep it in. It never helps, right? It never helps. I tell my uh, employees this all the time that I want them to grow. I want them to be happy here, and it's sometimes it's tough. But you need to tell me, you know, what I can do to be a better boss for you. I don't want you to keep it in and then later feel like oh, and then it it accumulates and then they kind of go on a rampage. So, I feel like this stuff could be addressed directly with this person, and maybe the person doesn't know that it's offensive, and it can be, hey, did you know that this that your T-shirt is you know has a naked woman on it? They might say, yeah, I do know. Well, you know, there's children here. Do you think that's appropriate? No, I don't think it's appropriate. Okay, well, here you can buy a Channel Five Ball T-shirt now. Great, thank you. I don't know why we have、um, social media discussions on some of these issues that can be di- directly addressed to an individual, and then when you have these issues, they just、uh, paint everyone in a very bad light, when in fact it could just be one person. And you know, I will be honest. Like I, there's plenty of douche bags in F and M and pre-release.、Uh, there's about eight of them at my last pre-release. And they go out together. They mix all their cards together, and they come back with these ultra decks that no one can beat. Yeah, they're douche bags, right? But I don't feel like they're douche bags because of only gender. They're douche bags to everybody, right? Everybody. The same guy who throws the deck at people. I feel like if you know, if、um, if it was a female and he got really angry, he would still probably throw the deck at. The person, right? Like, I don't think you should see him. He's kind of funny. Maybe I'll videotape it. I know what gets him really angry. What gets him really angry is、uh, when he gets mana flooded. But anyway, my point and my conclusion here is: this is、uh, the second video I made because the first video I tried to like be very, very political and not, I guess, non-political and very nice about it. Here, I'm just going to be direct. If you see something that is happening that you don't like. You should speak up, be brave, address the issue, and maybe you're helping this person. Maybe the guy who says "Oh, you're lucky charm" only means it as a joke, and you say, "Oh, are you joking?" And he's like, "Yeah, you know, I have some problems talking to females, and that's kind of you know what I said. I do apologize for that." But if you don't have a conversation like that, then on Reddit or on Twitter, it becomes this. Giant thing that paints all males in magic as just、uh, socially awkward. I just find it. I I I would love to see this because 
I can't imagine a guy with a t-shirt of a topless woman continuing for an entire day and no one like mentioning it to him or he's been it's been mentioned but he doesn't care and he's continued to do it. I, I feel like that's not something that I, I just can't imagine the scenario like that. Anyway, that's it. Let me know if you guys think it's real, it's fake, you think it's you know over exaggerated, or do you think I'm wrong? I could be totally wrong and there is a guy who exists who wears two GP events, uh, a t-shirt of a topless woman. But I've never seen it, right? So, <laughs> interesting. And, and the, the crazy part here is he just continues to play, apparently. Anyway, bye guys.